Phil. Well, you want the jacket, uh, preferably the heavier one this morning, as all of us are down into the 20s and 30s. Yeah, so starting off at and below freezing in some cases from Walcott to the I-74 bridge out to I-80 at Brady. Traffic, I'm not hearing of any tie-ups or anything like that here at this point. And you take a peek here towards the east, you can tell that sky view showing that there's not much in the way of any cloud cover. So this means we could cool off another couple degrees here prior to sunrise. In fact, it's down to 27 in Makota. 32 at the freezing mark there in Kiwani. Princeton, Illinois, one of the warm spots hanging out at 37. And we are at the freezing mark there in Muscatine at 32 degrees. Thankfully, we don't have a whole lot of wind right now, so wind chill is not a factor for us here as we head out the door. But high pressure is going to slide uh, to the east here today, and that means we're going to start seeing south winds develop here as we get into the afternoon hours. It's going to do a couple of things for us. One, it's going to help us warm back into the upper 60s, close to 70. It's also going to increase the moisture in our atmosphere. So we are dry here through 3 and 4 o'clock. We'll see an increase in clouds. Again, temperatures topping out near 70 in most areas. Starting around 7 and 8 o'clock tonight, showers and thunderstorms will develop over the area, becoming widespread here by 10, 11 and midnight tonight, and it's going to be between 7 and midnight where some of these storms are able to produce some large hail. Once you get past midnight, you get towards this 1 a.m. time frame. It's just kind of your more run of the mill type showers and rumbles of thunder. All this is east of the area by 7 and 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so it's really going to be an overnight type of an event here for us and widespread highs getting back into the 60s, close to 70 here by Friday afternoon. Total rainfall is substantial, more than what we saw here early this week, especially along in south of I-80. We're going to have a couple of pockets of over an inch of rainfall, and that just depends on where some showers and storms uh, kind of move over areas a couple of times as opposed to just one glancing blow where we'll pick up a quarter to a half inch. All things considered, this isn't going to bust the drought, but what it should do is help it from getting any worse here over the next week and week and a half. We'll get an update with the drought monitor later this morning. Hey, because this all clears out on Friday morning, we have great conditions for some football games here on Friday night. Our highlight zone game of the week, our spotlight game, Mediapolis at Northeast. Uh, mid 50s there at kick, 40s and 50s there throughout. So, probably want that jacket or blanket to bring with you there uh, for those games here on our Friday. Otherwise, we have a really pleasant weekend on the way. We're going to start off in the 30s each morning. We end up in the mid 60s there each afternoon. As you get into next week, here comes a major warm up. We're talking near record highs here on Tuesday, and that all comes ahead of our next system that brings us another chance for some showers and thunderstorms here by the middle of next week.